under pressure. What a pick by Baker. Malik Hooker with the interception and Malik Hooker on the run. Did you hear them? The names of the three college football players making big plays and no money. College athletics generated more than $10 billion in revenue in 2018. Former Ohio State wide receiver Anthony Gonzalez wants to fix that. The question is not, should student athletes be able to profit off of NIL? The player turned politician says they should. After California passed a law in late 2019 to pay players, the question now is how to make this universal. High school coach Ted Ginn Sr. says, if it's any money that needs to be issued out, I think that the, the players should get it. Ginn knows football and knows what money can do for players. His son plays for the New Orleans Saints. Well, what do you think it costs to go to college? And that they need a budget for their money. But is, if you give a young kid like that some money, we're going to lose focus. That's why Gonzalez proposed a Fair Play Act on the federal level. These five things are what Gonzalez wants to focus on, including protecting the athlete's amateur status and letting all student athletes earn, not just from big money sports. The reality is the train has left the station on NIL. But some schools and coaches are not on board. Ohio State Athletic Director Gene Smith spoke out against the move made in California. We can't have a situation where we have schools and or states with different rules for an organization that's going to compete together. No one from the Big Ten Conference was invited to testify. The NCAA says it wants its own rules. That should happen by January 2021. In Cleveland, Caroline Sweeney, News 5.